Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with another personal break of a couple of VIP edition booster packs for Double Masters. Now, these are just one pack in each one of these little boxes, so they're kind of like little mini boxes. I know officially they're called individual packs, but I've heard some people refer to them as boxes, so this is what they are, just the one singular pack inside. Two of these for Robert B. from Virginia, so thank you so much, Robert, for letting me open up some more VIP packs for you. Now, Robert was a part of our personal breaks and our group breaks last weekend of VIP. Now, I don't know if anyone else has done anything similar to that, but it was pretty cool. We had eight different uh, spots, one for each color, then artifact, both color and lands. We opened up a whole case of four of these packs, and uh, each person randomly won a different spot of that, and they got all of those colors from the whole entire little box, inner case, whatever you want to call it, the full, the full four-pack box of these. Now, we just have two here, half, half a box of VIP for Robert, and we will have some more of those group breaks coming up this weekend, if you're curious to check it out. Or if you want to see, what are you even talking about, Allie? That sounds crazy. The live stream from this past weekend is up available for replay, and it has timestamps if you want to just go check that out. There are some colors. Unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, but in the first uh, group break, green was the all-star there. There are so many amazing green cards, and Aaron O, who ended up with green in that situation, really won the lottery there. Got a foil doubling season, noble hierarch. Uh, exploration, a regular foil exploration, a regular foil noble hierarch. It was crazy. But yeah, we're doing some more of that this weekend, and I'm excited to check that out. But right here, we do have these two boxes slash packs for Robert, so let's get into them by snapping ourselves into the corner, and let's get started. Now, as you can see here, they are the UPC codes. Now, Wizards, because they did announce here where you could get two foil borderless rares or mythics per box. You can't actually get two mythics in one box. So if you cut out this UPC code, if, you, if you've if you bought uh, one or even multiple VIP packs. Now I do have this information in the community tab. I wasn't aware last week when I was opening these up, but I did mention it during the live stream, and I am trying to mention it now anytime either someone gets one or I get to talk to someone about it. But if you clip off the UPC code and send it in a standard business envelope along with a piece of paper or a 3x5 index card that has your address to the address that I have right, it's right here, but I have written it down in the community tab. So I think you have to be a subscriber to see that, but you know, subscriptions are free on YouTube. You know, just go ahead and subscribe. But um, you send it to that address and they will mail you a booster, a regular booster pack of Double Masters as a sorry we false advertise kind of thing. So make sure if you are opening VIP editions to keep your UPC codes. And we do, of course, send out... Now with group breaks a little more difficult, we do have to random off those four because there's just four, not eight uh, UPC codes. But with personal breaks, we are cutting out and sending them with people's orders. But anyways, I've already snapped myself. I'm ready to go. Let's see what amazing shiny foils we can get here for Robert this morning. Here we go. Pack number one. Take this out of here. Ooh, there's a copy token on the back. Alright, starting with our common foils, Steel Sabotage, Chatter of the Squirrel. The squirrel is either chewing on something, yeah, not looking very healthy there, Mr. Squirrel. And almost to our uncommons, here we go, starting off with our uncommons, Weapons Trainer, Crop Rotation, Thirst for Knowledge, so a couple of not bad ones in here, Oubliette. Also pretty nice. Lightning Greaves. The Uncommons are treating us pretty well here. Starting off with our rares, we have Blood Splore Threenax. And we have Sword of War and Peace Foil. Definitely nice for Mythic. We have a Crop Rotation. And Council's Judgment. So just two rares in this pack here. I think the art on Council's Judgment is one of my favorites. It just looks super cool in my opinion. But overall, two gorgeous foil borderless rares. The foil sword of war and peace was also very nice. And then you get your assortment of non-foil lands. I have heard of god packs where all the lands are foils, but have not seen any myself. And you get your two foil lands here. We have plains and a forest. And your two tokens, which are both foil and double-sided. We have sapperling and the copy token, human soldier, and golem. Now do it for pack number one. Let's get into pack number two. Jerem token on the back. If 
Crusader of Odric. It's our first common foil. Brainstorm. Start off our uncommons with a fencing ace. Is it charm? We have a goblin guide for rare. Erexmithy's Slumbering Isle, which is another foil rare. So one rare, one mythic in pack number one. Two rares in pack number two. And we have Toxic Deluge and Phyrexian Metamorph. Toxic Deluge is really cool in my opinion. I know some people, or one comment, I was asking for people's uh, opinions on which ones they liked and which ones they didn't like. Someone was saying they didn't like Toxic Deluge because it was just looked like an ink splot. But I think that's the part that actually makes it cool. Of course, art is subjective. People can like what they like. In my opinion, Toxic Deluge is really cool. And then Phyrexian Metamorph has a cool art, but I feel like this card is everywhere. But still, I like I like the way the uh, the gold really stands out in the middle of the uh, that shapeshifter in particular. And then our lands, of course, again. And then, oh, we have the Unhinged Forest in foil here, and a mountain. And for our tokens, we have Clue, Thopter, Germ, and Squirrel. I love the Squirrel token. He's cute. He's not like that uh, cheering squirrel that looked a little, little, little rabid in that one picture. But that Squirrel, the Squirrel token, is super cute. But anyways, overall, some really cool cards here. Definitely nice with this foil. Sword of War and Peace would have been nicer if it was the uh, borderless one, but hey... Definitely not going to say no. To, uh, yeah, not going to say no to a foil mythic, foil sword of worn peace. For our regular rares, which is weird to say because they're all foil, but our foil non borderless rares, we had Bloodspore, Threnax, Goblin Guide, and a Rixmithies. And then four just rares, unfortunately, some very gorgeous ones here. I know Crop Rotation gets some flack because it is upshifted, but like, you know, Crop Rotation is a played card, and the art is really cool. So I'm certain that's something, especially long-term, should go up. Council's Judgment, I was surprised by how cheap it was, but prices have been rebounding like crazy. Like, I actually had purchased, during pre-sales, I bought a, a playset of these Stone Forges because I thought they were gorgeous, and I have a friend who plays Stone Forge, so I'm like, hey, this is an excuse. I have them, they're cool, and then they can borrow them. But um, I bought them at 60 each, and then they went down to 40 and I was a little like, hmm. But they went already back up to 71 on the Foil Stone Forges. So the prices have been moving around like crazy on this product. The Toxic Deluge, in my opinion, is super cool. And then the Metamorph, which does seem to be a more common one, but the art on it is super cool. And then for which ones we got in Foil for our lands, we had two forests, a plains, and a mountain. I think this is the only unhinged one. I'm not certain on the planes if that's the unhinged original art for the planes. I mean, they're both by John Avon, so most likely these are both from unhinged, but some gorgeous foil lands there. Of course, you get two per pack. But thank you so much, Robert, for letting me open these on up for you. I hope I was able to get you some things you're looking for for your collection or for your decks. I usually say in personal breaks for your collection because most often it is sports cards. But with magic, it is, you know, sometimes people just collect for arts. Like me, I would, if I collected magic more seriously than I do, I would definitely be collecting all these. But if I feel like if I started with these borderless ones, I'd have to go back and get the Ultimate Masters box toppers, which isn't something that I'm particularly interested in doing because that's a lot of money. But definitely some awesome looking cards here, awesome arts. I'm really digging these borderless cards. Yes, VIPs I know are a little bit controversial for being the price that they're at, but they are fun to open. And like I said, prices are really shifting around like crazy. So it's not a complete, you know, if you open one, that's a bit of a dud. Still get some gorgeous cards. But thank you so much, Robert, for letting me open these up for you. I hope, like I said, I was able to get you some cards that you either needed for your decks or, your, or for your collection and that you enjoyed the opening. Of course, as always, I will get this all packed up and shipped out to you later, and including your two UPCs, so make sure to check out that post in the community tab so you know exactly what you need to do with them to get your two free packs of Double Masters from Wizards. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know some of these Double Masters openings on the channel have been a bit more popular than others, but I'm glad to see people enjoying the videos, leaving comments, and it's cool in analytics I can see where people are subscribing from. So we have gotten some new people from these Double Masters openings, so thank you for joining us, and I hope you're still having a good time. 
But to everyone out there who's watching, this is it for me today. Just had the two VIP packs. Nothing crazy. We have some new products coming in on Friday, but nothing on Wednesday. Friday we have Pokemon, we have Elements Football, and Bowman Chrome. I think baseball, Bowman Chrome, or Bowman Sterling. We're getting in some old, I think, yeah, we're getting in some older top Sterling, and we're getting in Bowman Chrome, I think is what's coming out this week. So we have football, baseball, and Pokemon coming out on Friday. So if any of that interests you, make sure to stick around. Otherwise, uh, we should be have we're definitely having more magic for this weekend's live stream, and I think we'll probably have some in the coming weeks as well. So make sure to stay tuned for more magic openings on the channel. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!